What up, Jippers? Our play is back once again for some more No Man's Sky and the Overhaul mod. And we are back on the greatest planet and experience that I have ever had since I started playing this mod. This place is freaking perfect. We have got giant freaking Diplos walking around. Herds of Diplos. Not just a Diplo. Oh my god, we've got flying sky creatures which I hadn't even spotted. This planet is perfection, guys. <laughs> like, what the heck? Look how fluidly everything is moving around. These freaking gigantic herds. Everything is perfect. We've got this giant planet in the background. I am so in awe right now of what Rayrod has managed to achieve with this version of the uh, Overhaul Immersion update. <laughs> because I'm like, how? How is this possible? How does somebody do this? It's so good. Whew. Well, okay. Oh, yeah. And here's our beautiful flowing actual like flowing water with bubbles underneath and everything oh it looks so good okay we're gonna explore this place a bit more today because <laughs> it's it deserves to be explored fully this place is this is what it's all about you know like finding this kind of thing is this is why we love this game you know whether it's the modded or unmodded like when you find something special you find something special and this planet is definitely one of those times <laughs> i am just like blown away by this <laughs> so many beautiful diplos so many cool rock structures terrain monoliths flowing rivers everything it's just so pretty man all right let's let's try and tear ourselves away from the freaking diplos uh, if you want to see me like look properly at those diplos a load more <laughs> stay tuned i guess <laughs> i was gonna say look at the last episode but it looks like they're all over this place and this one is freaking ginormous Whoa. Oh, the height thing. The height thing is not quite working on the scanner. That's the only problem I've noticed with this version. Because that guy is not 1 meter 48 tall. <laughs> More like 148 meters tall. But look at this. We've got the sky serpents. Oh. Like, everything is just so smooth right now. Like, this guy. I've, I've got to try and get on this guy's back. We can do this. We can do this. Yeehaw, buddy. Oh, no, no, no. Missed him. Missed him. He looks so cool. I love that planet in the background as well. And, oh, and that thing just flying across it. We've got to capture that moment. Oh, if I can get the Diplo in it as well. Oh, that could be so cool. Look at this. <laughs> oh, that looks awesome. Where do I want to put the... Whoa! Hello there, big fella. Didn't even notice that one. <laughs> this is insane, guys. Like, I am just having such a great time at the moment on this planet. I don't... I'm... I, you guys know what I'm like. I always just plan it hop, plan it hop, plan it hop, looking for the next beautiful thing, the next beautiful thing, the next beautiful thing. But I don't want to leave this place. This place... <laughs> I'm just like... I am... I don't even know what to say. I'm blown away right now. Let's go take a little walk around. Let's go see what other cool stuff... Because there are a lot of creatures here by the looks of it that I haven't discovered yet. And a lot of them look really freaking cool. Hey, does this not literally look and feel like I'm just playing straight through one of the E3 trailers right now? Like, that's the feeling I'm getting playing this. And it's quite surreal for me. Like, I'm... This is awesome. Like, there's butterflies, dinosaurs, little creatures running around in between them, flowing rivers. Everything is just like I dreamed it could be, you know? Like, this is crazy. Man. I cannot wait to see what No Man's Sky next brings. Like... Man, what a great time to be a No Man's Sky fan. Look at this! Just look at this freaking place! I just can't, like... <laughs> I can't put into words how cool this place is. I hope it, like, comes across... Like, I hope it comes across in this video, like, just how freaking awesome this planet is right now because like and you guys are going to be able to play this very soon like this version of the update is coming the public the public version of this is coming hit up Rayrod ask him when it's coming you'll be getting it soon and we can all be finding freaking incredible stuff like this uh, and that's definitely going to keep me entertained until next comes along man like oh, I'm just kicking myself because I waited for so long to uh Update to this version of the mod. Ray always sends me the links, and um, I'm just like bad at doing the install the mod stuff, so I always get scared. <laughs> like once I've got it working, I don't want to play with it after that. But this version that I'm on now is like it's like everything is just perfect. Like he's oh man. <laughs> okay, right enough enough jibber jabbering. Let's actually go walk around and just enjoy being with these beautiful creatures and everything. I'm gonna turn the HUD off for sure. We're gonna turn the HUD off. And just walk around and experience all of the beauty that this planet has to offer. Because 
it needs to be explored. <laughs> Look at this! Even the, like the freaking plant life here is insanely cool. Like, how awesome does everything look here? Is there more water here? I want to go find some... Oh, no. That's not cool. Get out of here, jipper snapper plant. Hate them. I'll get them. I'm on, a, I'm on a mission to exterminate every single one of them in the world. In the universe. 18 quintillion planets. I don't know how many jipper snapper plants that's going to mean, but we'll get them. <laughs> look at it. Wow, look at this guy. He looks awesome. He's got like a little lion's mane head, fur on his head. Oh my gosh, look at this butterfly here. That is the cool... I'm going to be taking a bit more pictures than I should be. I know that, but... <laughs> Guys, look at this place. Look at these freaking butterflies. Oh, they look so cool. And, like, what a backdrop to find a butterfly like that. A freaking awesome set of Diplos. Like, a herd of Diplos just running around doing their own little thing. Like, this is crazy. Man. I feel like I'm just playing the game again for the first ever time. Like, that crazy, like, rush of excitement and just complete awe. Just looking at stuff and being like, this is it. This is what you want when you play a game and you want to explore stuff. Everything looks so good. <laughs> Everything looks so freaking good. Man. There's so many types of butterflies here. Like, this is crazy. Is this more... I want to find... I really hope there's some water creatures here. Uh, oh, okay, that little ravine's not got any water in like the last one did. It was crazy, absolutely crazy. Right, okay, let's let's fly. Around. I wonder if the I wonder if this planet is like different, because oh, a lot of the planets in this mod have like loads of insane variation just within a single planet. So I want to know if there's like an area that's got loads of really long grass or different color grass or trees or something. Hmm, which way do we want to go? I don't know which way I want to go. Oh. That looks promising. Is that water? No, no. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Diplos everywhere. They're freaking all over the place. And they look so good. I love the little tiny ones. And they're not tiny. Like, these are pretty big creatures for No Man's Sky. And these ones are just massive. And I'm sure there's, like, even bigger ones to find as well. Like, this is crazy. I can't believe this. Oh, I look. Seeing the little multicolored little jippers running around the floor. Guys, I'm like, I'm, I feel like I'm living through a dream right now. This is crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Like, and this is, what, the second planet I found since I did the, installed this version of the update? How, like, the thought of what other stuff is out there. Like, this probably isn't even that good. <laughs> There's probably so many better ones now in this version of the Railroad Overhaul. And I'm just like, that's exciting as hell. That is really freaking exciting for me. Whoa. Ooh. We've got a nice little clearing. Any creatures down there? I don't want to scan that place. I don't want to scan no building. I want to see. I want to see some creatures. I want to see some trees. Some beautiful grass. <laughs> These things, man, they look so cool. I love how fluidly everything's moving for me. It doesn't feel like I'm playing a modded version of the game at all right now. It just feels like this is slick, smooth, everything's working. It, it's just like crazy. Oh man. The butterflies, the butterflies are so pretty. Last picture of the applause, I promise, I promise. If I can get the lighting right. <laughs> That's right, I have to caveat my promises. <laughs> what the hell? Like everywhere I look, it's just freaking stunning. Like there's just beauty everywhere right now. This is crazy. <laughs> Okay, right, right, let's go, let's go. Look at this guy. I really love these little creatures. They're, they're like, everything just seems insanely good, right? Look at this. Look right in front of my freaking eyes. Like, what the hell? This is insane. Have I... I want the default. Yeah, there we go. That lighting is perfect as well. Like, I'm underneath a giant freaking Diplo's tail right now. Peeking through and I can just see beauty as far as the eye can see. Like, what the heck? <laughs> my gosh. Oh, man. I am so glad to, to be playing this right now. Like, this is such a good experience. Okay, right. Enough. I'm probably annoying everyone with my excitement. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but, like, I really feel like I'm playing through one of the E3 trailers. You know, like, running through the grass. The creatures are, like, running away from me. There's giant diplos walking around. There's butterflies. There's dense, like, forest and fauna and flora all over the place. The atmosphere, like, the mist in the background. The birds flying overhead. It's just... 
This is crazy. Like, <laughs> I'm going to make a base on this planet. I'm going to make a home base on this planet for sure. I don't want to leave this place. I can't believe this. I literally cannot believe how freaking awesome this is. <laughs> Whoa. Man, it's so good. I'm just like, I'm just watching that thing fly over that awesome scene right now. I don't know how anyone can hate this game, man. Like, I just... It's just so per like to me this is the perfect game. Like this is that adventure, that exploration, that wonder that I want when I play a game, when I get lost in a game, you know, it's just everything I want. It looks so good. <laughs> Man. Okay, I'm gonna have a like we've been here for quite a while now. So I'm gonna have a little wander around. I'm gonna pop a base down. Uh, so that I can come back to this planet because I need to be here more. I need, <laughs> I need to be back at this place more and more because... <gasps> no, is that a Stegodon? Is that a freaking Stegodon right there? Are you kidding me? What is this thing? What kind of creature is this? This... What the heck? I thought, like, I didn't think I could see something cooler. <laughs> and now I've just seen something even cooler. Like, look at this. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Come here. Come here, Steggy. Come here, you little jipper Stegger. Where'd he go? Get out of here. He's freaking huge. Oh my gosh, he's got like a triceratops head. I need to get the light on him so I can see him. Oh, he's in like a little shadowy bit, but how cool is this? Man, this is awesome. Okay, we, okay we're going to stay for a little bit longer. <laughs> Just a little bit longer. Just a little bit. I want to see if there's any more cool creatures like that. I wasn't expecting that as well. I literally feel like I'm on like Jurassic Park's island right now. Oh, and we've got even more types of beautiful flora and little plants and stuff. <laughs> this is crazy. What in the hell is going on here? This is insane. Man, how is this all like so perfect? I can't believe it. Okay, 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 right. Enough excitement. Let's go. Let's go explore. Let's actually find everything there is to see on this planet. Uh... Right, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna fly up. Even the terrain, like, just... I'm so overwhelmed by the creatures and the, the freaking plants and the butterflies right now that I'm forgetting about the terrain, but, like, the scaling of the terrain and the variation in it is, like, insane. Like, I keep seeing these huge, deep canyons. There's, like, little rivers and stuff. Man, this is good. <laughs> oh, I am having a great time right now, guys. I, I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> What is this? What are these glowing things? Is that Rigogen? Oh, is this like a dried out ocean floor? Or is there actually going to be water? No? Yeah, oh, whoa. Oh, that's crazy. It's like I'm on the bottom of the ocean, but it's dried out. And there's the glowing Rigogen and stuff. How cool is this? This is insane. <laughs> Please tell me if, like, if I'm overreacting here, but... Does this not look and feel like I'm playing through a trailer version of the build right now? Like... This is insane. <laughs> I can't believe it. And I'm not even freaking playing, like, I'm playing this on my laptop right now. So you guys, if anyone out there has got, like, a really good gaming PC, it's probably going to run, like, even smoother and better, and, like, you get rendering uh, further distance and stuff. I'm literally on my freaking laptop and recording at the same time, and it's this good. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to explore this on my own. I'm going to take a few more pictures. I'm going to build a base. And then we'll come back and we'll go to another planet. But I want to show you guys me taking off. So we'll take off from this planet when I come back. And then we'll see what else we can find. What a great day. Okay, guys. This is now my home planet. So I can come back here whenever I want. And I am definitely going to be doing that. But right now... There is so much more that we need to discover, so let's go and explore something else. I want to show you guys the new ship takeoff animation, like the, the perfected version of it. Like, it's so smooth. So freaking smooth. And the flight controls are so dialed in right now. Like, everything about this just feels right. <laughs> I am pretty hyped. I don't, I'm, I'm guessing that is quite clear. Ah, oh, the spiral, like, ah, oh, the spiral star systems and everything. Is this a planet I've been to before? Did I go to a planet in this system before I hit that one? I can't remember. Let's go and hit this one and find out. Here we go. Here we go. If this is like even a hundredth as good as that man, <laughs> it's going to be good. <laughs> man, I'm so excited to see like what other cool stuff. There's going to be so much cool stuff. Like that was just the second planet that I've been to. So, oh, wait, I've been to this planet. Have I been to this planet? Yeah, I did. Oh, what an idiot. 
<laughs> I've been to that one already. Jimmy Crispos. I got too excited to pay attention to what I was doing. Uh, oh, yeah. There's the Atlas station. Like, I need to get a picture of that, actually. I'm, oh, no, no. Didn't want to do that. Did not. Actually, yeah. I, let's hop to another system. Let's do a warp together. Like, when was the last freaking time that we warped somewhere together? Have we, like, have I ever done that in the modern version of the game? I, I normally just, like, edit that bit out, but I just want to see everything. I just want to, like... Everything's running so smoothly right now. I'm not having any problems. Everything feels slick. Let's pop into a system together. I always used to do this, like really early on in my in my uh, No Man's Sky series in the original one. I always used to show me like warping and flying in between planets and stuff like that. And then like some people didn't like it, and then other people were like, oh, I really like that. <gasps> oh yes. Okay, this looks cool. This looks really freaking cool. What kind of planet is it? High energy planet. And then what's this one? Oh, is that two planets touching each other? I saw someone post a video of like two planets touching each other and it got like millions of views. <laughs> I was like, what? It looked pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. There's some crazy stuff that can happen like with this mod that looks awesome. This, how cool is this system? Like the colors and stuff right now. Oh, I'm right next to an Atlas station. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's go straight from. Let's go for what kind of planet is this? Is that the high energy one or is that the other one? High energy. Are they both high energy? Oh, incandescent. What does that mean? What does incandescent mean? I don't even know what that means. We're going to go for incandescent. That sounds fun to me. All right, here we go. We're going to warp over to where the sun is. Not warp. We're going to boost over to where the sun is and then we're going to touch down right here. Oh, that other planet looks pretty awesome, actually. Now, now that I've seen it, I'm like, hmm, that one looks really good, too. It's fine. We'll get to all of them eventually. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's got gravity Gravitino balls. Doesn't that normally, like, when they have Gravitino balls, they're normally pretty nice planets, right? It looks very green. So that could just be gross rock, or it could be beautiful trees and grass. So fingers crossed we get something pretty. Oh, look how smooth that, like, transition is, like, the atmosphere into the clouds and then whew, straight out the other side. So freaking cool. Okay, this looks strange. This looks very strange. I love the sky. Oh, yes, we got a beautiful grass planet. Oh, oh yes. We are on a roll, guys. <laughs> I've got a feeling we are going to find some very cool stuff in this series from here on out, guys. We've got a weird crabbo. There are so many creatures now. That is something that I think in the last version of the update, I think something had probably was not quite right. He had, Ray had still got some tweaking to do, but now creatures are working perfectly. They're running around smoother than ever. Like, they're acting better. It's crazy. Stay still! I can't scan you, you little Jiminy Cripper! That's right. That's right, buddy. I love that they like, there's loads of them now, you know? Like, there's not just one creature on its own running around. This thing is terrifying, though. I don't want to see loads of these. <laughs> I mean, I only want to see loads of creatures in a herd when they're pretty creatures. I don't want to see no grossies. I love the little tiny ones that run through the grass. They, I don't know why, but they always look so cheeky. <laughs> like they're up to some sort of mischief. What are these? Is that rock? Oh, we've got some birds up there. I see ya. I see ya, pigeon. Can I reach him? Yeah, I got him. I got him. Oh, it's, oh, it's a scorpion. I thought it was a crab. Okay, how cool does this grass look? <laughs> we'll take we'll take one picture of the grass, I guess. Oh, I should probably get the scorpion's head. That's gonna look cool, alright? It's a crab scorpion, that's why I was confused. Give me a break. <laughs> look at this. I right, like my screenshot album it, I'm guessing you guys already know that it's gonna be pretty hefty. But I've got a feeling that right now <laughs> I'm gonna be taking even more pictures than I ever have before. <laughs> This place looks great. Okay, right, let's go see. I want to see some water. I want to see an ocean creature. I haven't seen an ocean creature yet since I uh, updated. So I want to see if they, like, work perfectly and stuff. What the heck is this? Holy moly. What are they? Oh, are they the mushrooms? Oh, man, this grass. They're like the two-tone grass. I know those caves are going to be full of wonder. I know they're going to be beautiful grassy caves. And if I go in there, I'm not going to want to come back out. But I want to find water. I'm on a quest. I'm on a mission. How cool is this terrain? This is bizarre. Yeah, that's nice. That is very nice. Look how smooth everything is. 
Man, I'm loving this. The music right now is like really intense as well. Just adding to my mood even more. Whoa. I kind of I really want to go in a cave. What are you? Are you going to eat me? Are you a beetle? He's a stalking insect. I'm not an insect. He's an insect eater. Why is he going to bother me? Get out of here. You can't eat me. I'm not an insect. I'll grenade you in the face. He's, he's uh, you didn't see anything. <laughs> he started. It was self-defense. <laughs> uh, oh, man. This, like, the way this hill is, like, smoothly shaped is making me want to, like, slide down it on a skateboard or something. <laughs> I see your pineapple head. Crazy. This is so freaking crazy. Like, what the heck? I need to upgrade my, like, PC setup because I want to see this running at, like, the absolute maximum settings that it could possibly be pushed to on, like, a beautiful, super high resolution screen. Oh, like, <laughs> could, I don't even think you can beat that, right? <laughs> These look awesome. Is it me or are the creatures looking, like, way better right now? Uh, like, I am... The creatures I'm seeing, the creature models, the way they're moving, the way the grass ruffles when they run through it. I'm having a moment, guys. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. I don't want to stop playing. I need to, like, I need to stop. It's getting quite late. <laughs> I need to, like, go and do stuff and get ready for work tomorrow. And I don't want to do that. I just want to play this game for the rest of my life. <laughs> oh, okay, we've got some canyons. It's going to be grassy, though, isn't it? Is, that, is there water over there, or is that something else? Okay, I don't know if we're going to find water on this planet or not. So I want to just have a quick peek inside a cave. Just a quick one. Just a little tiny peek inside there. Yeah, the caves are all grassy on the inside. Oh, it looks so good. Man. Whoa, whoa, who's angry? I heard an angry creature. <laughs> they hopped really high then. <laughs> Alright, I think we should probably end it there, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. I, as you can probably tell, I'm having a freaking blast right now. Uh, I'm going to be doing loads more of this. I'm going to be playing my uh, PS4 base version as well. Uh, but I'm definitely going to keep up the episodes of the Overhaul mod because I'm just completely blown away right now. And I cannot wait for you guys to jump onto this version as well so that you guys can show me what cool stuff you find. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. If you did enjoy the episode, please do drop a like and a comment. That stuff helps like crazy. And if you do want to support me that little bit extra, I do have a Patreon and a merch store now as well. Links for those will be in the description. Uh, but other than that, take care of yourselves and peace. I just want to give a huge thank you and shout out to my current Patreon supporters, Shiroka Majelli, Wyo, Madeline J, UK Gamer 84, Todd Cook, Neil B, Anarchy, Vanilla, Rasmus K, Mingrui, Dale from the Atlas Hub, Joanne Anderson, Heath, and the Portrait Dude. You guys are the best. Mm -hmm.